Uh, I just heard um, banging, really, really loud banging. In fact, it was gunshots that echoed through this quiet Oshawa community, waking up residents just after 1 a.m. And then there was something else. And screaming, a female screaming, I was... I didn't know what was going on, but the banging continued, continued. Residents say they heard 10 to 15 gunshots, and police have confirmed they all came from inside this house. By the time police arrived, they discovered a horrifying scene. There are five victims within that residence, including the alleged suspect. So we have uh, one female, four males. Police have since confirmed that two adult males and two children were killed in the shooting. The suspect also died of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. Only one person who was in the house at the time made it out alive. So there was a female that was taken from this residence uh, with a gunshot wound and she remains in hospital. Police are not confirming the identity of any of the victims who were shot, but we are learning more about the people who live in this home. And by all accounts, neighbors say they are the perfect family. It doesn't make any sense knowing Chris and Loretta that it would have been one of them. They're very happy, uh, outgoing, uh, very family-oriented people. Quiet, kept themselves, raised their kids, to a really, really respectful family. So uh, I can't believe this. Is Neighbors tell us the parents, Loretta and Chris Trainer, are both school teachers. They have four children together, and it's believed that three of them were home at the time of the shooting. Bradley, a student at Western University, Adelaide, who is just starting high school, and their younger son, Joseph. Dominic Suick is a close family friend and a former student of Chris Trainer. He got involved with the school a lot, um, coached for many teams for the school. Everyone knew him. Everyone knew Mr. Trainer. And Greg Ross is outside the home in Oshawa. Greg, there have been some late developments this evening. What can you tell us? That's right, Ian. Police have now identified the shooter as 48-year-old Mitchell Lapa of Winnipeg. Now, police tell us that he is a relative of the family, but this morning he was an uninvited guest. Uh, when police arrived here early this morning, they found a white pickup truck parked outside the home here on the street. That white pickup truck had Manitoba license plates. The police towed that away to be examined by forensics, and it turns out that that pickup truck was registered to Lapa. Now, police say he was the lone attacker uh, in this shooting. His motive is unclear, uh, and police say that they're going to wait until after post-mortem examinations on the other four victims before they release their identities. Ian? Okay, Greg, thank you.